So we have to pay attention. The music we listen to, how many times, me as a teenager, man, I didn't listen to bad music. Well, when I say bad music, it was like, uh, let's see. Oh, I'm traveling, uh, nothing is forever. There's got to be something better than in the middle. Okay. Is that Wallflower? So some of y'all have no clue who that is. That hit about three of y'all. The rest of y'all are like, huh? I only listen to worship. <laughs> but there were those 90s, you know, early 2000s songs that weren't that bad. You know, we have to put that, that in there so it makes us feel better. But here's the thing, and I've said this before, it's just the facts. What you intake is what will come out of you when you're squeezed. What goes in will come out. And there's a lot of songs in those same genres that weren't that bad that I learned to play on the guitar when I was first learning. And now I went back, I'm like, oh, I remember that song. And I'm like, oh my goodness, those lyrics. Y'all wanna, wanna get a little deeper? All right, let's go. Listen, I like rock and roll. Put another dime in the jukebox, baby. But you start diving into the lyrics and you go past the music. See, my biggest thing was like, they were popular in movies. So I knew like these certain parts that weren't that bad. And so I'm singing them. Well, what I'm doing is I'm proclaiming and blending in with other people that I listen to it. I'm like, I'm cool. Yeah, I know the, I know the song. You know, you know how you do. You know that one part, and then you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, man. Well, then you, you actually look it up and Google it. She's my cherry pie. I'm telling you, read those lyrics. Something that you probably used to take part in, and you'll even sing it when it comes on, you know? And you don't realize what's coming out of your mouth.